previously on BTD Battles. Oh my god, boost! What? Oh my god, my enemy is struggling so much! Look at his side! Whoa! So close! Have much ego! No, 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 no! This, everybody, is the final monkey in the new upgrade slash, you know, they've changed a load of stuff, basically. This is the new boomerang, except it's not really new. The biggest thing about it, I guess, that is pretty, that is pretty crazy, is uh, the fact that the ability can now see, that's right, turbocharge, uh, can now see camo balloons. Now, obviously, the Glade Lord himself can see camo balloons, which is, which is awesome. Uh, we know how cool that is. But now, apparently, turbocharge can. So what we're gonna do is I am going to use the ability. So I'm gonna go 2-4, and the player is gonna go 4-2. And we can't use the other person's stuff. We have brought along with us um, a monkey village farm thing, just in case it doesn't work. Uh, I don't have super high hopes in this, uh, but hopefully, I mean, hopefully it'll work, uh, and we won't need to use them. But if, if push comes to the shove, we can use them. Okay, so I'm gonna set up four little bionic boomers in my corners just to do damage. Uh, and then hopefully that should hold us out for a little bit while we both get eco. We are playing, playing with fire, uh, bonanza, and speed. So it is a crazy game mode once again. You guys are loving these crazy game modes. So I thought we'd just, uh, we'd just fire some crazy game modes in. So let's send yellows to the enemy as well as to ourselves uh, to get our eco up. We want to hit that 2,000 mark pretty quickly. I think we should hit it pretty quickly. Uh, and then we need to get the ability because I really I don't want to have to use the monkey village. I really want to be able to do it without using the monkey village and just using the abilities and stuff. I thought that'd be pretty cool. But we'll wait and see, shall we? We shall wait and see. Okay. Uh, shall I buy it? I think I might buy one ability in a second. Yeah, I think I'll buy ability in a second. But let's just... These Bionic Boomers actually are tearing up. They are doing really, really nicely. I'm going to put my spikes down right there. Because that's nothing seems to be getting past them into that area. So that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so let's get to 4,000 Eco. Yeah, let's stop at 4,000. Then we'll get our abilities just so that we have camo detection. I'm pretty sure we're only going to need one. Uh, we're only going to need one of, one of the abilities for now. Because the, ca the camo detection, like, or at least the camos aren't that crazy. So there's one there. See that camo balloon right there? Turbo charge. Use turbo charge. And it destroys everything. Brilliant. Okay, so it works. It definitely, definitely works. My enemy's got a glaive lord right at the entrance there in the top right that you can see. Uh, which is actually a really good placement for it. So let's slot these down. The, the problem with boomerangs is they're so big. They take up so much space, so you actually can't fit that many in. You think like, oh, I've got a massive space. <laughs> the fat boomerangers uh, like to take up all that space to themselves. So let's see what we can do here anyway. We could probably only fit another like four in the middle here. If I, or maybe if I'm lucky, I can fit, I can fit five in potentially. I, uh, can I fit one in here? No, I can't. Look at that. Can't even fit it in there. And then down the sides here, let's see, I don't think we're going to be able, no we're not. Okay, so turbocharge, there we go, so yeah, I just need to get, I need to get these turbocharge abilities up. This is going to be pretty tough for me, I've given myself a real hard task here, because uh, I've got to spot those camo balloons. But I think we can do it guys, let me know in the comments, who do you think is going to win? Is it Team Arm or Team Player, if you, if you put Team Player, if you even like a comment that says Team Player. You are, you're going down. I'm gonna 1v1 you on Rust, or the new new version of Rust, whatever that is. Uh, anyway, so we can still, we can still only fit, yeah, we can only fit one in, like, on top of each other almost. Oh my god, look at the enemy side. Those Glaive Lords just look beautiful. Oh my god, there is no way I'm gonna be able to defeat all those Glaive Lords. Bionic Boomer, nice. Well, I don't know actually, Turbocharge, Turbocharge is pretty good. It is, it is pretty good, but I'm not sure. I am not sure. Okay, add all of these in. You go up there. Okay, okay, getting there, getting there. I just want to fill this section up just so that I have loads of stuff 
destroying things. Uh, and then we'll work on getting our upgrades going. And hopefully we'll get so many turbochargers that I can just like carry on turbocharging forever and never need to worry about turning them off. I'm not sure how many you need to do that. I want to say it's 50. I think you need about 50 to constantly be pressing turbocharge ability. And hopefully that'll give me the, the upper edge or the upper advantage. Upper edge? Is that even a word? I don't know. Upper edge? Yeah, I'm going to say it is. Let's put those in here. Those in there. Okay, so let's upgrade this uh, central section, shall we, to turbochargers. Glaive Lords are not for me. We do not need no Glaive Lords. Except I wish I, I wish I had Glaive Lords. I wish I went for Glaive Lords so bad. They look so good. And my, mine don't. But I have full faith in turbocharging. Turbocharging is where it's at. So we've got like 100,000. We've got so much money here. Uh, it's just, just can we keep our cool? Can we remember to turbocharge? There we go. Okay, we've got quite a lot up in there. Should I just, you know what? Let's just get all of these up to turbos. Let's do this. Turbo, Glaive Lord. Okay, uh, uh, turbo. Okay, yeah. There we go. Yeah, take that, camos. You before used to be able to get through. Now you can't. The game's changing. The game is changing. I saw, by the way, in a previous video, I mentioned about uh, trying to get uh, Ninja Kiwi to make Blue's Tower Defense Battles 2. Keep on pinging them. We want them to make a second version of this game so bad. Um, I, I think they could do. I think they should do. I think this came out in 2012. Five years. A five-year anniversary for this game and bring out a new one. That would be pretty good, Ninja Kiwi. Let's, let's make it happen, shall we? Let's make, maybe it should come out on my birthday. May. May 17th is my birthday. Please, Blue Star Defense 2, or Battle 2 even, or even a new Blue Star Defense Battles. That would be pretty cool as well. Okay, turbocharging, doing its thing, working nicely. I'm going to set another one off. <coughs> I think, how many have I got? Like, 20 odd of these or something? Still got a load of money, so we're still good in terms of money. Oh, I think actually I might have destroyed that Moab first. Interesting. Okay, let's see how this uh, let's see how this goes then. I don't know. Did I did I destroy it first? I think I did. I really think I did. Glaive thrower. Oh my god, my thumb is aching. I have pressed that so many times. We got 44 of them. So let's set some of these to uh, to strongest first, uh, and then a couple of them to last for some reason. I don't know. I like to scatter around what things are aiming at. Just then it makes it a little bit more even on, like, destroying random things. <clears throat> okay. Let's start building the rest of this monkey army. Uh, oh, my God. Are these, uh, yeah, these are camos. I didn't even see those camos coming through there. Let's do another one. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. No threat for us. That is no threat for us. Okay, actually, the enemy's destroying it first. So we could be in a little bit of trouble here. Let's layer down these uh, boomerangs down the bottom. Okay, guys, don't forget if you see if you see a camo, just shout at the screen at me, and it'll, it'll help me uh, it'll help me see them, and I'll be able to kill them. Because my biggest worry is I'm just gonna miss a load of camos, and they're all just gonna go through. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they don't. So just shout shout at the screen if you see camo balloons. Okay, these are going well. These are going well. Place these down. I need to place my, like... Can I put a hidden one down here? Yeah, there we go. We've got a hidden one in there. Nice. Turbo charge. Turbo charge. I always turbo charge. Or at least, I mean, I always fully upgrade any hidden one straight away. Because otherwise, I'll just forget about them. Like you. You upgrade. Actually, you know what? All of you guys down here can just upgrade. Okay, well, let's see who destroys these BFPs first. I'm going to use a few turbo charges to see oh my god we've destroyed it first but this is still uh there we go the enemy hasn't even destroyed it oh my god one more round it's going it's going i'm gonna win i'm gonna win yes oh my god that was sick turbo charge wins don't forget they are uh well turbo charges aren't too bad but the glaive lord is not good against bfbs as we saw there and a little late on the boost 
gives us the win. Guys, that's it for this series for now. Uh, Balloon Star Defense is going to continue, of course, until there's a new update with loads of new stats and stuff uh, that will change. Comment down below anything or any changes you want to see made, and hopefully we'll get those sent over to Ninja Kiwi. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.